First, I want to say thank you for buying the marking gauge. Um, hopefully, it'll make your life a lot easier when you use it. it should make when you make your uh, guidelines a lot easier, uh, straighter. Let me try to get this out. All right. Now, when you get your marking gauge, it's going to be a part. So it's going to be just like like that. You've got two pieces to the marking gauge. You have the base, um, and then you have the dowel. Uh, and the dowel has markings on it for one sixteenth of an inch. That way you can do your number one and number two, number three. Uh, it won't go below number one, but if you're if you're careful. You could just go between the, the marks here and, and do it. But anyway, it, this entire dowel is six inches long. You put it in, you take this, it, you're going to have a groove in yours, mine doesn't, but yours does. And you know that's the side that it should go on. This is the hole uh, that the uh, Sharpie will go into. You just put it in there and push it. Yours might be a little as tough as mine but I don't think it is. I've tested every one that I send out so uh, hopefully yours isn't as difficult as mine. This is uh, my prototype really um, and this is the one that I use. Alright so I take this uh, you've got it together just like I do. Now if you don't if you know exactly where you want it to go you're gonna tighten it down. You're gonna tighten the uh, thumb screw down uh, to where the dowel doesn't move. That way it doesn't move on you. Then you take the sharpie and put it all the way in. Now it'll only go to where the cap stop is so but if you want it to go uh, if you don't want it to go that far in you can just bring it to you know whatever depth you want the, the pen to go to and then use your thumb screw and tighten it in. That way it doesn't move. Okay so you've got that together real easy Let's say you have a plate, you want to uh, do guidelines on your plate, you're going to take it just like this, you're going to put it on your plate, if you can see that, uh, and then you're going to bring it down, and then you can either spin the plate or spin the marking gauge, or both, and you're going to bring it around, make sure that you, you uh, you don't have to go fast, but you can. Uh, it, it should go all the way around pretty even. But take it easy, go around slow. That way you have a, a line, a perfect line, and it'll match on the other end. If you see, you can see the line that I just did, the baseline. Now, let's say you wanted to do that, and then you wanted to go to a. Uh, you're trying to make lines for a number four. You're going to go over here. You're going to see you need to go over uh, you're already one so you need to go over four. One, two, three, four clicks. Tighten it down. Go ahead and put it on there just like this and then go around the plate again. And then you'll have perfect parallel lines. Now if you want a third line for the for the top, then you can do that also. Just go four clicks over and you'll have those lines. I don't know if you can see. You have perfect parallel lines all the way around. Now, let me see if I have a bottle. Now bottles are the same. This is a baby bottle, baby jar. You'd want to put the baby jar in something to hold it. You put this on the cap, just like that. You see it? Okay, and then you can just spin the baby, baby uh, or the glass around. And it should, if you can see that, it makes perfect lines around. I don't know. There we go. And